Tracy Gillinder and welcome to the second episode of Babes TV. In 2011, Babes and Business will continue to bring you fresh episodes featuring event wraps, key business issues and the best insider tips on places to eat, drink, travel and shop. If you'd like to feature in an upcoming episode of Babes TV, be sure to contact the Babes and Business team. In this episode, we look back at last year's annual lunch. We also speak to Talent2 for their tips on starting 2011 even healthier and happier. But first, we talk to Baked Relief founder and Babes member Danielle Krismani on the positive effect Baked Relief has had on flood affected families and volunteers. Baked Relief started just before the flood. Um, it started with just a simple batch of cupcakes down to the SES and then grew to something you know, much more than I could have ever believed, with 1,500, 2,000 people baking. What started out as a simple Twitter hashtag grew rapidly into a baking movement across South East Queensland and indeed the country. Even Danielle was astonished by the speed with which Baked Relief gained support thanks to the power of social media, trending in the top two after just one week. Baked Relief has gone worldwide. Uh, we've got people overseas donating, we've got people in, in Australia helping and donating and then we've got people in Brisbane baking and handing out to people who need it. Oh, thank you, love. While the need for immediate help may have eased across South East Queensland, the focus is now broadened to assist with rebuilding the lives and homes of those affected by Cyclone Yasi. There are many ways babes can continue to help with flood and cyclone recovery efforts. There's still so much to do and we're just at the start of getting people set up um, back in, in the Lockyer Valley and at Ipswich and Goodnight. Baked Relief certainly did that, demonstrating in times of need the simple things in life often bring the most comfort. The favourite Baked Relief goodie of all time has to be chocolate brownies. There's something really comforting that, the, that men, women, old, young really, really love. Babes members will also have the opportunity to raise funds to assist with flood and cyclone recovery efforts at our first Treasury Wine Estates Misbehaving event this year. This is an event not to be missed. Members and their guests will have the opportunity to win a gorgeous ring from Bodman's Jewellery valued at over $8,000. It is one of Brisbane's great annual events. And the AirAsia.com Babes in Business Lunch for 2010 delivered another day of exceptional networking, high glamour and loads of fun. More than 300 babes and guests dressed for success in the holiday glamour theme to celebrate the achievements of women in all professions and industries and to cap off a great year of networking through Babes in Business. I think the greatest thing is seeing so many women, so many fantastic women, taking time out and networking together, enjoying a beautiful meal, glass of wine, laughing, the noise and the energy. My first time here and I can't say it's just beautiful to see so many people taking a little bit of time. Treasury Wine Estates ensured no babe went thirsty, unveiling the new Rosemount Botanicals range. While Queensland coffee machine sales satisfied the coffee connoisseurs in the room as babes mixed and mingled throughout the day. We just thought it would be a good networking um, day for us. Get to meet other ladies that are in business. With the help of our Captain of Ceremonies, Tim Blackwell, the 2010 theme, Come Fly With Me, took guests on a journey to relive the glamour of travel from a bygone era. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is great to be your captain here. So welcome to this chartered AirAsia flight bound for the holiday season. First up, and quite clearly, we don't take ourselves too seriously. But what we do take seriously is celebrating women, connecting women, and creating stylish opportunities all year round for you to grow your business networks. It's fantastic. I've been a Babes member for two years and come back every time and really recommend it to all of my business contacts and friends. Babes were spoilt for choice with pampering from Mama Baba and brow whispering by the brow bar, while the first class photo booth captured the spirit and fun of the day. 
the highly anticipated Babes in Business annual awards were hotly contested once again, showcasing the depth and diversity of Babes members. Bianca Shag of Peekaboo Magazine. From Stockwell, Breton. Fiona Stockwell. Laura Chung from Sweet Fix Cupcakes. Aiko Nagellan from KDPR. Tracy Gillander from HBO and EMTV. Congratulations to all the nominees and winners. Babes is proud to announce that the luxury prize tour raised a phenomenal $10,000 for Young Care. Special thanks to our incredible prize sponsors, including Air Asia, Wingana, Kiss and Tell, Greg Zapala from Ord Minette, and Spices Group. Over the past four years, the Babes in Business community has raised more than $60,000 for Young Care. Not one to disappoint, Babes kicked off their heels to enjoy the Roller Soul after party at Biblos, celebrating well into the night. On behalf of Babes in Business, thank you to all of the members and guests who attended, in addition to our wonderful sponsors who made the annual lunch such a tremendous day. This year we're excited to announce a new segment on Babes TV, our very own Babes Q&A. We want your opinion on the topics that matter most to you, family, friends, lifestyle and career, and we'll be visiting a different workplace each time. Today we're at Talent2, where they'll share their advice on how to start the new year on the right foot. Get myself established in a new country with a new job. I generally set it for the year and then I'll break it up into quarters. Um, I need to sort of work out where I need to be in the year and then what skills, what particular skills I need to get to that particular goal. Be focused. Um, I've always believed that you know you have to believe in yourself. You have to sometimes take the giant leap, uh, and if you do, the net will catch you. Break it down into quarters so that the goals are a little bit more realistic. You know, for if you're looking for something a little bit more long term, work with your manager if you have a close relationship, or anyone else. I would suggest working with a mentor as well because I think that really helps to sort of set the guidelines with what you're looking for, and they can provide some feedback on on your goals as well. There will always be times when people say you shouldn't be doing it or you can't do it, at which point, uh, in my experience, the best people are ones who have already thought about how to do it and even better are doing it. Write out your plan and re revise it regularly. Um, work out what you want to do. Talk to people about how they can help you. To have a good roadmap, um, to stop derailing from that roadmap. Uh, to stay focused and to really focus on what you enjoy in your job. Social media and networking sites like such as LinkedIn, um, even Facebook are really valuable in today's world for candidates, clients, um, getting in touch with people because every, everybody's using them. If, if you're not using them, you're behind on the rest of the world. LinkedIn is absolutely crucial. Um, with regards to your profile, it should be clear, it should uh, be written as if it's third hand um, with all your highlights, all your career goals, what you've done in the past and what you're looking to do now. It should be updated at least every other day um, and you should become a social networker so as many connections um, as you can possibly get the better. Networking is a really important tool for babes in business. Um, you, you put your face out there, you portray your image and you get to see what everyone else is up to. It's a great face-to-face -face opportunity. Um, it's also a chance, you know, you're discussing topical issues or relevant industry news. Just enjoy it. Uh, when you go to networking, you don't have to throw your business card at everyone's face. It's about learning about what makes that person tick and to learn each other's certain behavioural traits uh, and just go frequently. 
If you're not already a member of Babes in Business, jump online and register now to enjoy an exciting calendar year of events, as well as our first free members event, the Treasury Wine Estates Misbehaving and the Return of Life's and Art series. Keep an eye out for the next episode of Babes TV and be sure to contact us with any story ideas. See you soon.